So when you guys say naughty word, you get a little something something in your mouth. Hazy girl, you've been naughty. <laughs> You're a stinker. <laughs> oh, mom said stinker. You gotta take the punishment. You guys! It's Monday, and you probably think that it's like seven in the morning because I'm not ready. No, no, no. It is almost three o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm still not ready. But that's okay because I've gotten a lot of stuff done. I just felt like we had such a busy weekend. I really needed to catch up from life. So I took the entire morning, and I did that, and I feel so much better. Like, I feel like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulder, and I'm so grateful. Daisy had a friend over today, so we've just been playing, so she dressed up as who? Who are you? Yep. Yeah. You're super girl. She had a really cute little cape on with her heels. She's quite the package right here. And where are you school? She looked darling today. I'll switch her back because we have to run to the store. She was wearing really cute leggings and a really cute little sweater, darling bows. So we're gonna have to get dressed again. And I should probably get dressed for the first time. So dad is out getting the boys right now home from school. And then we have a few things on the agenda. Crew and the boys, mostly crew and Brexen, complain every single day that their jackets are too thick. It's kind of a problem. This morning was a great morning. I got them up. We were all in great moods until it came time to putting on the coats. Well, Crew's coat is broken. The zipper is completely gone. We're going to take him out and try and get him new coats. I really like my coat that I got. It has what's called Omni Heat inside where it heats from your own body heat and then keeps you warm. My coat is very warm. I found it for a really great deal at the Columbia Outlet. I called and they have their kids coats on sale. So we're going to go over there, try and get them the same type of coat I have because I really like mine. Another thing we need to do is you guys heard me talk about yesterday, neighbor gifts, things like that. I'm going to tell you guys a secret here that I probably don't want everyone to know, but I'm going to tell you. Yeah, this cute book I bought last year at Costco, just about having a Christ-centered Christmas and really just feeling the true spirit of Christmas. And this book is really great for a couple of reasons. Today's December 10th, is that right? Today's December 10th. So it'll tell you a cute little story about Christmas. It'll have for five years, you can write down what you did on that year on that day. And then it will have ideas for a craft or an activity. It has a recipe and it has a song every single day. So I bought this last year. I was so excited about it. I was like, I found this great book to have something to do every single day of December. Have we done it every day? No, it's just for fun. I was out shopping last year after Christmas. These books at Deseret Book were normally $20. I picked them up for $5. So to all of the people that are getting one from me, they probably think I spent all this money. I didn't. If you guys can shop for deals, you can give really great gifts. After Christmas is over, shop for next year's things. I know it's hard because you just spent so much money on Christmas, but if you can save money on those few things and get them for next year, how awesome. What I've done is I went through and wrapped all of them. I have several of them. I bought 20 of them last year. I wrapped them up really cute. I put a cute little card on them and then I stuck in my Christmas card. Reveal. These are our Christmas cards this year. Christmas wishes from the Binghams. And then on back, I have a picture of our kiddos. You guys know that Brandon's sister, Michelle, at Michelle Madsen Photographer, took our family pictures and this is the card that we ended up with. I'm so in love with them. She did so great. So inside each gift, I did stick one of our Christmas cards. So these are neighbors' gifts, friends' gifts, and they're super awesome. We're gonna go deliver those tonight, get the kids' coats, and then today, Brexy has to make his poster all about him. So we're gonna do that today too. Okay, I've at least put makeup on now. I don't look any different, dang it. Kids just got home. Brexy is just starting his poster. How old are you, Brex? Six. Six years old. What's your favorite animal? Cat. What, a cat? Do you wanna write cat? C-E. Favorite color is orange. Oh, orange. Favorite food? Pizza. Pizza, do you know how to write pizza? P-I-Z-Z-A. Pizza. What's your favorite food? Pizza. Do you know how to write pizza? P -I -Z -A. And look, we added a picture of our family. Actually, if you really wanna know, I just cut up one of our Christmas cards. I put this picture, this must have been printed from a weird place because it looks very green. But this is what I look like. So down here, we just have to write, where is your favorite place? When you grow up, you wanna be, what did you say the other day? You say a police officer? Yeah. And then if I had one wish, I would wish for, and your favorite thing to do. So I'll help you do that. Brexy just barely finished his poster. Tell me all about it. Who are you? What is your name? Brexy. How old are you? Six. What's your favorite animal? Cat. What is your favorite color? Orange. Your favorite food? Pizza. Now, who is this studly looking boy? Me. Who are these weirdos next to you? Um, my family. Your crazy family. Your favorite place to be is where? Carousel Museum. This is when you and daddy were up on the very tip top, huh? Going down it together. And then this is who? When um, I grow up, I want to be a? Please stop. Police officer. My favorite thing to do is play with my friends. So who are these friends? That one is Morgan and then this one is Everly. Oh Morgan and Everly, okay. And then this is me. Ooh, you look so handsome. I like your hair. <laughs> if I had one wish, I would wish for Heelys. Heelys, and he drew a cool pair of Heelys. I did blue for the outside and then I did green. Red. That looks so good. You did a great job. I bet your whole class is gonna love hearing about you this tomorrow. This is actually going up. Oh, you're going up it. I see. This is down. That's up. 
You are so good. She didn't get a nap today because she was playing with friends. She just fell asleep right here on the floor. I'm just gonna leave her there for a little bit. She's so tired, she fell asleep in the middle of the floor. Poor girl. We are just heading into the mall here at the outlets. We came to Traverse Mountain Outlets. This is where they have a gigantic Columbia store. I seriously don't even know. This is probably a total waste of money because they never wear them. But guys, you've seen the big debate about coats and trying to get kids to wear coats. Did you ever talk about this? A little bit. So I think that the big thing is that they're just too bulky. They're too big. They don't like how big and cumbersome and just like how uncomfortable they are. Wow. So mom, as you guys know, That's all a I phenomenal hear. coat at Columbia. It's super thin, but also super warm. So we're hoping if we can find a kid's version of that, they won't feel like they're wearing a big coat, but they'll be warm because it'll be a nice warm coat. So that's why we're here today. Let's go see. The ironic part is that it is the warmest day we've had of all December. It was like 50 degrees today. Look how cute these are. Oh, it has little antlers on it. <laughs> I got Hazy to put her pants on, but look. She's still a super girl in it. She's still wearing it. Found one. Did you? Ooh, except for that looks oh like it could fit Brexton. We need to find a bigger it's size. A medium, but they only have medium. Well, we can ask them if they Dude, have more I in back. I love that color though. Does the it have the, the orange? Beyond the heat. It has it. Okay, let's go back and see if they have more sizes back there. Okay, I like the style choice though a lot. Do you like it, Brex? Ryler is pulling me whole. Do we have to match? No. But I think they're tired of matching, which is okay. Let's see what they've got. This blue one. Well, let's see if they have more in back. They also have oh, orange and they have this nice black. This red one. One. Are these I don't all think that, that same like type of thickness and I got the thing because I like about, that one This is about mom's thickness. Is this gonna bug you guys? Is this too thick? Is it gonna be like oh, I can't play football in this I'm gonna <laughs> Wait, let me make sure and they're on sale. That's what we like to see. Oh, dude, could we do what about that one, bro? Okay, too thick. Sorry, too thick on that one. Oh, bro, what about this one? It's like a savage camo, bro. Too thick. <laughs> like your head. They've got some pretty rad options here. I think we need to stick with this thin type right here. Oh, this? Yes, that's what we need to stick with. Because oh, these ones, as great as they are, they still kind of have that coat. thickness, that same feel. Red coat? That'd be pretty bad, dude. Oh, that, that's orange, bro. That's straight up orange, dude. Oh, I like it for you. I love that for you. It's like KTM almost, dude. Got a little bit of help here. They explain some of this three-in-one layering, this Omni heat, all these good things. They're looking for this jacket in Rye Guy's size. He's just a little bit too big. Almost too big to shop in the kids section, bro. I feel like you're almost going into like the young adult section here, even though you're only 10 years old. Now, Kruby Do, on the other hand, pretty boss, bro. Pretty boss. Turn around, let me see it. Oh my goodness. What a handsome young man you are. But are you a warm young man? Are you eating a candy cane? Are you always eating candy? Crew, what I especially like is how you've accessorized this incredible coat with this nice coach purse. That is a great accessory. Okay, this is not the jacket that he's getting necessarily, but he's trying to get the size. Although, what if you got this one and Crew got that one? Or do you want this one really bad, Kruby? I want that one. So I don't know if Mom already talked about this, but Rag, I asked for one thing when we walked in here. Can we please not what? Match. They do love to match a lot of the time, but I think with these coats, they kind of want to have their own individual. Oh, look at Brexy. He's for sale. He's <laughs> he's hung up on this rack. <laughs> Hazy, do you need a coat or do you already have one? You want a coat too? But I thought you were super girl. Super Hazy. Super Hazy. Hazy, do this one. Put your arm up and do dun 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 dun. Yeah, she's grumpy, guys. She's not feeling good. Brex doesn't feel. Oh, that's a little bit big, Mom. We got to get the next size smaller for you. Hey, I wanted to ask you a question. Are you warm in this? Like, is this pretty warm? Because you look like you are frozen stiff. <laughs> yeah, right, because her eyes are closed. <laughs> Alright, Brexy Doodle's trying on one here. I know it's a little bit big. What do you think about that one, buddy? You kind of want it a little bit big so it will last for next year. Get two years for one on these coats? Not a bad idea. Mom's always thinking ahead, planning for the future. Brexy Doodle, what do you think? I will tell you, first of all, you look amazing. How does it feel? Does it warm, buddy? Yeah. Pretty warm? Is it comfortable? Mm, yeah. Does it feel like you're wearing a big coat? No. It doesn't feel like you're wearing a big coat? No. Because I know that's the big problem is that every time you guys put on your coat, you feel like they're too big and bulky. But this one, I think, is thin you and warm. Look in a mirror? I can show you right here. Look at how handsome you are. Boom. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, dude. I think he likes it, guys. You think you want to buy this one? Yeah. Let me see it. Can Ooh. I try it on? Yes, you can try it on. Let's try it on. You got to take off the coat you have on to try on the other one. Brexy Doodle, man. I think you found a winner, dude. If I was you, I'm getting that coat right now. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Super girls just putting coats wherever here. You want me to help you put that on or you got it? Oh, you got it all by yourself, you big girl? I think that might be three sizes too big. And your hair is everywhere. <laughs> what is that? Somebody shock her so that goes away. You got static through your hair. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It's like you're touching one of those things. Look at her hair. Look how amazing that is. It's going everywhere. <laughs> Do 
get your arms. Oh, look at that super girl. Woo! Hey, will you fly me back home real quick? <laughs> <laughs> Am I too heavy? Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, I'm trying to lose weight. I don't have a cape on. Oh, you don't have a cape on? That's why you can't fly. Let's go find your cape. It's at home. Oh, it's at home? Okay. <laughs> super girl, get him. Get him. That's the bad guy. This is crew. He's the bad guy. Get him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, that'll teach you crew. I'm not sure if I've told you guys about this, but I am, I think I've told you what a wuss I am in the cold, but I don't know that I've told you specifically. No gloves keep my hands warm, no matter what. Ends of my fingers freeze within seconds. I went and got some really nice, and by nice, I just mean they were expensive North Face gloves. Fingers froze at Luminaria instantly. We took them back. Not gonna spend that kind of money if they're not gonna keep my hands warm. I did want to try out these Columbia ones, though, because they've got that Omni Heat stuff inside, which I don't know if that's magic or not, but we seem to be pretty into it right now. Mindy swears by because of her coat. So I want to check out some of these gloves, but my buddy, the one who saved the deer, if you haven't checked out that video check it out he is an avid hunter as we've told you guys he's out in the cold for long periods of time camping things like that he said mittens are the way to go which I never thought of doing mittens as an adult but it keeps your fingers together so they stay warm so I don't know if I want to get these gloves or if I want to get some mittens that are gonna keep my hands warm what do you guys do when it's freezing cold how do you stay warm what gloves do you wear what do you swear by to keep your hands warm in the freezing cold especially those of you who are making fun of us for 11 degree 12 degree weather you guys that are in the negative 20s what do you wear to keep your hands warm because if it works for you it's gonna be good enough for me Mom just got what she likes to call a steal of a deal. We got Brexy coat. Is that all that's in there? Just Brexton's coat? Just Brexy's coat. So that's all we could find the right size, right color, right fit. Brexton's loving it. But mom, that total kept uh, coming it was down and down. 20% off, and then I got an extra 25% off, and then I had a $5 coupon. So like, it went from like 70 down to 30 something. 30 something. Oh my gosh, that's a steal of a deal. It. We walked out. It's a lot colder now, a little brisk. But guess what? Brexy Doodle's got a brand new jacket to wear. Brexy Doodle, dude. Oh, look at that Omni Heat just heating you up. We are really pumping up this Omni Heat. I don't even know if it's that good. Look at that, bro. What do you think? Ooh, is it toasty warm? Is it actually warm? Because it's pretty dang cold out here. If it's keeping you warm right now, that means it's doing good. Dad, this is keeping me warm. How's yours? How's yours? Good. Crew, how's you? Are you warm? Oh my gosh. As we were there, as you saw, we left with one jacket, just Brexton's. It's the only size they had that was the right fit. And so mom is now on their website trying to find sizes for the other kids. Yeah, we're struggling a little bit here. Plus, it just stinks because we had such a great deal on that one. Online, you're not going to get that kind of deal. No, not at all. So mom is on the hunt for two more thin jackets to fit crew and Rye Guy. Now I'm driving, so I'm going to stop vlogging because that's a responsible thing to do. Mom's over there stirring up some hot cocoa, some fresh, delicious hot cocoa, fresh off of coat shopping. Did you say caramel hot chocolate? Oh my gosh. Guys, in the meantime, while mom gets that to cocoa perfection, we've got an advent calendar to take care of. Is it 10? Is it 10 right guys? That was nine. 10? Okay, sorry, 10. So 10, nine, two, one. It's a volleyball thing. Oh, what? Soccer, maybe with two goals? I don't understand what that is. Okay, open it up. It's gonna be amazing. Brexy Doodle, what is it? Guys, Brexton got the airplane. His tenth is a different one than your guys'. Haha, <laughs> got everybody. They're all the same. Okay, so, do you want me to help you make that, Brexy? Because I do not know what it is. What is that thing? It's soccer. It could be like soccer goals because it has like a ball that goes in the middle. Let's just build it and see. Oh, Dad, you put it right here. Oh my gosh, yes, you're right. There's a court for it right here. Or a field, a pitch, whatever you call this thing. Goal, goal, ball in the middle. Very very cool. Okay, I love it. Let's build it. We got caramel hot cocoa with whipped cream on top. The perfect finish to this December evening. Wow. Talk about delicious. Talk about holiday fun. Talk about mom for the win. My mom, how are you doing? Oh, so much walking. Hey, you're about to do some more though, because you're going to go deliver these. Is that right? Yes, I just want okay. my warm Christmas boots. Warm Christmas boots, nice warm jacket, and then these awesome books. She already told you guys all about them. They're going to go out to the neighbors right now. Super cool. Fun way to kind of like track amazingness in December and relive it and for guys, years to come. I was talking Hippa. Anyway, about that. You know how earlier I was talking to you about buying things when they're on sale after Christmas? Yes. All of these darling tags, I bought these after Christmas for like literally maybe a dollar. I bought like a huge canister of them. Also one year after Christmas, I bought our Christmas tree for $25 and that Christmas tree literally lasted, what, 10 years? Yeah. We just barely heard of it like a couple years ago and that's because sections were going out. Remember, I know it's hard, but try to plan ahead. Yeah, a All year right. ahead, love it. All right. Off. Hazy girl, how is it? I just want more whipped cream. Oh. Okay, I'll get you some more. There's a little yeah, tradition that mom started back in the day. So when you guys say naughty word, you get a little something something in your mouth. Hazy girl, you've been naughty. 
<laughs> You're a stinker. <laughs> oh, mom said stinker. You gotta take the punishment. You're mean. <laughs> oh, You're you said mean. mean. You just called me a stinker? That's it, open your mouth right now. You are taking your punishment. <laughs> You're a stinker. Take your poison. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no, you never said <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. Mom started this, you guys. She's the one who started the whole whipped cream straight into the mouth thing, and she did it when the kids oh. would have, when the kids would have pancakes in the morning. You're mean. <laughs> I just made up that you get it for being naughty, which was really dumb because now they're gonna be mean all the time. You're a jerk. Hoping to get whipped cream. Guys, Hazy hasn't done her advent calendar yet. You guys did yours, but it's time for Hazy's. Hazy, we gotta show everybody what you opened yesterday because we didn't show them, and you made a bunch of ornaments out of yours. Mom tied strings on them and turned them into ornaments, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so should we open yours when you're done with your hot chocolate? Yeah. Okay, we will. The kids told me Smallfoot is amazing. I haven't seen it. Apparently they saw it without me. I didn't even know it. So we just got that on digital download. Checking it out now. Just saw cotton candy, so I'm in. But Hazy needs to open up her advent calendar for today. Probably have Raga help her build it. Hazy girl, why don't you find number 10, okay? Can you find number 10? This one right here, the stocking one. Uh -huh. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. It's like a rocket ship or something. A light post. What do you guys think that is? Oh. Is that pretty cool? What do you think that is? I think? I don't know. Can you try and make it? Hey, Rag, I can help. Where's your other ones? I wanna show you some of the ones that Hazy got yesterday and some other times that maybe you didn't see. This one, absolutely adorable. It's a reindeer like rocker. I built that one yesterday. Rag, I built this one yesterday. Okay, so this is from yesterday. A reindeer rocker, super adorable, super cute. This one, very appropriate. The old vlogger camera. You got a nice camera here to take some selfies with your friends, your Lego best friends. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this one. It's a stocking, a nice stocking ornament. Like I said, mom tied a string on a- And a snowman. Mom tied a string on all these so we can make them into ornaments and Hazy can put them on a tree. A guitar. And what's this one? Heart. And what's this one? Jingle bells. Jingle bells, I love it. Oh, and this snowman, I don't know if we've shown this one. This one's incredible. Is this from yesterday too, right guy? Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Right guy said this one was from yesterday as well, this mm -hmm. snowman. So guys, sorry we did not show Hazy's because she made some really good ones yesterday with Rye Guy's help, and Rye Guy is once again oh, helping her out here. Oh, gonna do this? I showed him the camera, yeah, I showed him that. Do you see this? It's a camera, like oh, yours. So it beautiful. is, I love you so much. And we got in there. <laughs> It's a candle, I think. Now that I see it, I think it's a candle. Cutting herself a right, little I just apple want right a little here. Apple. <laughs> She's having a little late night snacky, but you know what? If you're gonna do that, apple's the way to go. Kids are into bed, hoping that those coats will work out. Mom had a little bit of regret when we left because we uh, called around I can't and we find can't the find the sizes. Coat. So, oh, the coat is that the deal? It's not even like the same sizes. Like I can't find the sizes. I can't find the coat. And they had two there that would have worked. One was orange, but Mindy was afraid it might get dirty too fast. We I mean, held up on that. Let's and the just other one... think like children. They get everything dirty. And yeah. So I, I always buy dark colors. And then the other one fit perfectly, which means it would only last for this one or not for the next one. But then when we saw what a discount and a deal we got, we thought maybe it could be worth it just for the one winter. I don't know, I may still drive up to Park City and see if I can get that one for crew. And might go back to the outlets and get the other ones for Rye guys, so that way they can have them. Because honestly guys, if this doesn't work, we don't know what will. Because the coats are cool, they're thin, they're warm, they're stylish, they're just, like, they so move. It's funny about having bulk on them, which I guess I get, because they're trying to throw their backpack over and- I watched that whole thing in this video. Kids don't like to be swaddled, they don't like to be bound, they don't like to be constrained, and they don't get as cold as us. That's actual research, I found that out through the Holderness Mock Music video from an Eminem video. Who knew? Who knew, people? Go check it out. <laughs> We're gonna wrap this vlog up. We love you. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thanks for subscribing. A lot of new faces. They're picking up again. We love seeing oh, that, guys. We're so excited. And you guys, tomorrow, Brexton has his little Christmas sing-along in school. It's tomorrow night. It's a special performance. I've ordered the amazing sugar cookies by Steph that we're gonna take for his little thing. So it's gonna be fun to see him sing. That's gonna be amazing. And then later this week, we have their first ever piano recital, which is going to be huge, too. So a I'm lot of so fun excited. musical things, which is not typical of a Bingham family member. The music. So very amazing. Don't miss it. 2018 closing out strong. A lot of fun in store still. So don't miss a beat. We love you guys. Come back tomorrow. See you guys. Bye. Bye.